arrow. Uh, uh. Not that way. Hi everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Athamore by Aces Games. So, let's check it out. Last week, I got my hands on an ancient treasure map, which I won in a card game. The map describes the ruins of Athamore. Rumors say that the crown of Athrodorus might still be inside of the dungeon somewhere. They say that the crown is made of solid gold, and it has jewels engraved around it. If I can manage to get my hands on it, that crown, I can finally retire for good. However, rumor also states that the place is haunted. No one has ever returned. Unfortunately, the map was stolen from me. I bet Jeffrey and his clumsy crew had something to do with it. Ever since I left the guild, those fools have been having a hard time setting up new expeditions on their own. I'm far better off working alone. They are a few days ahead of me. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Hopefully, they haven't acquired the crown yet. Jerome. Are, th are these the catacombs? Finally here. I wonder if the others are still down here. Maybe. Um, tea for torch? It's very dark down here. I should see if I can find a torch or something. Oh. I have to find it. Um. It's stuck. Got it. Sword. This is too heavy for me to carry around. But it would be awesome. Day one. Hopefully, that fool Jerome won't be on our tail. He sees himself superior to everyone else. I collected a torch. Now I just need to light it up. Uh, here? Let there be light. Oh, I love that effect. Oh, look at that fire. You have reached a checkpoint. Okay, so there's checkpoints in the game. I can run! And there's bats. Oh. I believe this belongs to me. The map! You have acquired the map. Press M for to toggle on and off. Okay. M to open the map. Right click to close it. Day 3. I'm getting more and more anxious by the hour. We agreed to meet up in the armory hours ago. I fear the worst. I should go look for them right away. I wish I had never entered this cursed, forsaken place. I can't take it anymore. I'm getting out of here. You never made it out either. Anything else? Where is that wind sound coming from? Ooh! I have noticed some strange glyphs on the wall in the kitchen. I guess they're somehow connected to that large door at the crossing. I've always been one. I have always been wondering what's behind that door since it's always heavily guarded. Kitchen? Okay, so we need to go to the kitchen. Is this the door? Locked. Okay, um, let's go this way real quick. Hmm. 
nothing here. Creepy. This is storage. Um... I heard you loud and clear. Okay, so I need to find the kitchen. Not cool. That's Jeffrey, all right. Poor bastard. Okay. Wait, does that mean that I can't get to the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? Kitchen. Strange markings on the wall. Hmm. These. Um. Day two. We finally arrived at Ethelmore. It took most of the day to get here. To our misfortune, the main entrance was blocked by heavy boulders. After a thorough search, we found a crevice in the ground. We immediately began our descent into the ruin with much anticipation and eagerness. The rumors about many ill fates and other terrible folklore stories about this place just add to the creepy atmosphere. Yeah. The voices basically scream, get out. Um, I'm moving. Locked. I need a key. Oh, okay. Don't like it. Talk about creepy. I don't like this. I feel like everything is a trap. Maybe not. Wait, what are those? Hang on, there's two ways down. I didn't do it. Am I supposed to go up, not down? I feel like... I feel like there's creepy noises down there and I don't want to go towards them. And there's creepy music up here, so... Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay. Not nice. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to go up, though. Although I'm really, really sure I don't want to go this way, either. Anything? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm the worst at parkour! It's a long way down. <laughs> I went straight up and straight down. 
Here we go. I jumped. I caught no. I walked backwards right off. Guess I'm not going back that way. That looks like a trap. <laughs> that looks like a trap. Again? Wait a minute. Don't die. It's the staircase pattern. Anything else? <gasps> it's the crown! <gasps> okay! Okay. Nope, I'm going. I'm going. Nope. You don't have to worry about me. Nope. <gasps> okay, so where now? Hmm. Don't like that. Oh, come on. According to the map, this has to be the cathedral. I better not let those restless souls notice me. Okay. I need your blood. Oh, oh, oh. I done messed up. Okay, so I can run past these things. Wait, I had the crown? Why am I back here then? Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me! I'm going to assume I have to go back to that door. Hmm. Back the way we came. There's a hideaway. That's where we came in. Got it. Oh, that, that looks like a trap. Um. Ah. This is what I was seeing. I'm going the right way. I have to be going the right way. Hmm. 
right? Oh, please let me... Hello? That is a long fall down. Don't worry. It's all in your mind. <laughs> that was perfectly creepy. <gasps> oh, shh! I should have expected that too. I should have expected that. Woo! Secret area. I found a secret area. Please don't be parkour again. Oh, that would have been horrible. I'm loving the ambient noise though. This way? Your fate is death. Okay. Thank you for that. Can I pick this up? Of course not. I've reached a checkpoint. Where am I? Okay, stop pressing buttons. What the? Oh no, no, no. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. I don't even know if this is the right way. Help me. Come oh. Back. Who are you? Who are you and what are you doing here? Why are you behind these bars? Shh. Please be quiet. Otherwise he might hear us. I've seen him down here. I'm sorry. Seen who? Seen who? It's the warden. I've seen him. Who are you? What are you doing here? Have you come to rescue me? Um... Can you please describe this warden you have seen? I've seen some disturbing things down here, too. I've seen him patrolling down here. I try to hide so he won't notice me. His white glowing eyes. I can't get them out of my head. It's like I see them everywhere. Something awful has happened down here in the past. It's so disturbing down here. It's like a living nightmare that I can't wake up from. Please get We out. have seen him. Um. I'm Jerome. How did you end up here? I'm Audrey. <gasps> I can't remember. I must have blacked out or something. I was scavenging along with Jeffrey and Cassia. But somehow we got separated. 
All I can remember was hearing Jeffrey screaming. That's all. Um. I. You must be the new guild member. I knew your companions. I'm sorry. Oh no. Are they dead? dead? I'm afraid so. You shouldn't have come here. It's too dangerous. I wish I never did. I guess we got carried away. Now I just want to go home. Uh, Please get me out. Please get me out. Please get me out. Okay, so you're done giving me prompts. But how do I get her? Finally, you're back. Finally. Potion, a bottle of liquids of substance looks like blood. That's not gonna help me. What do I need to get her out? I need keys of some sort, right? Accept your fate. I'm dead. Oh. Well, sugar. But, in retrospect, this does give me the opportunity to go this way. Locked. I need a key. Of course you need a key. Hmm. Power of life grants the light. Looks like some sort of socket, but something's missing. Hmm. I must get a hold of that scepter. Only my father knew about the importance of this item and its purpose. According to the illustration of my father's drawings, it can be used as a lever. I'm most certain it fits inside that hole in the pillar within the throne room. I should get in touch with Cassio as soon as possible. He knows a thing or two about the occult. I'm sure he's able to summon my father's spirit. I know he's done it before. Um... The crown can't be collecting it again. Is this it? It looks like some sort of socket, but something's missing. That's what it is. Okay, so we didn't need the crown for long. Looks like I finally got out in one piece. One of six? Oh, I died six times. You exchanged the crown for a ticket out of the dungeon, but you showed your ruthlessness by leaving Audrey behind. I got the selfish... <laughs> I caught the selfish ending. Oh. What? You shouldn't be down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Finally, I got my new PC up and running. 
But still, with the crash issues after weeks of troubleshooting, I have finally concluded that my old graphics card had some issues. With the current prices of graphics cards, as you might know already, I'm going to wait a bit until the inflated retail price has gone down to get a proper card. It took me about two weeks to develop this game at first, but then I decided to improve upon it because it became clear to me that the game lacked deeper content and purpose. Furthermore, Althamore is even available on Steam. Who would have thought? Hopefully people will enjoy it. My focus onwards will be adding the final chapter to my project called Unaware, aiming for a full release on Steam before the end of 2022. But simultaneously, I'm going to be collaborating on a secret project along with a good friend of mine. A secret project? Wait, we need more meat. Furthermore, the firewood is... Wait, that's... That's a glitch, I think. Only a kindred can be blessed by the fires of green. <gasps> Not what I was expecting at all. Another secret area. There's no turning back. Wait, but I'm clicking it. But I want to look in it. Is something supposed to happen? I think I have a glitch. Unfortunately, uh, I glitched Looks like again. I finally got out in one piece. Out of 13... Oh... Four out of six secrets found. Alright, and that concludes my playthrough of Athamore by Aces Games. This game was fun and I really enjoyed the puzzles and the atmosphere. I also really, really enjoyed the secrets. Not only was it finding secret rooms, but then also finding the office, I thought that that was a really nice touch and a nice way to give us an easter egg about your newest game, uh, as well as something that you've got in the works. So I'm not sure if you've already released it yet, but I am definitely going to be paying attention to your itch.io page and your Steam. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this game. The atmosphere, the puzzles, the music, the voiceovers, it was all just fantastic together. I think the only issue that I might have would be with the notes and the fact that your map uh, isn't toggled by clicking M. Uh, you do need to right click, which I think is what confused me a little bit and why I was able to glitch it out the way that I did. Um, I would have loved to have seen what comes from the crystal ball and how you get the staff to go into the, the pillar and how you get the girl out, so I will definitely have to make another trip into this game to figure out those last endings. Now let's take a moment to learn a bit about the game and its developer. Meet Alan owner of Aces Games. Alan developed a passion for gaming at a young age, beginning with his brother's Commodore 64 and later an Amiga 500. He didn't acquire his own computer until 1997, where he delved into the world of early PC gaming with titles such as Duke Nukem 3D, Diablo 1 and 2, and Thief the Dark Project. The games such as The Witcher 3 and Path of Exile became a source of inspiration for him to develop games due to their captivating story, rich lore and player-centric approach where players can make their own choices to progress. For the past seven years, he has been involved in game development 
working both independent with Aces Games and a member of a large studio. You can check out his personal projects on his itch.io page and Steam. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any recommendations, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. As always, I'll be leaving my information and the developer's information down in the description. So, until next time, bye for now.